Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we are going to talk about color contrast. And everything I'm going to show in today's video has to do with complementary colors. And if you don't remember what that means, it is when two colors are opposite one another on the color wheel. So blue and orange would be complements. Well, here I put blue and orange next to each other on a gray background. If you look at the intersection of these two colors, it might almost vibrate in your eyes. It creates sort of an uncomfortable tension. And there's a reason for this. This is called simultaneous contrast. And what's happening here is we have complementary colors that are the exact same value. And for whatever reason, that has a very strong effect on the eye. It sort of activates the colors, gives them an energy. Well, all right, I'm gonna give them a little breathing room because that's actually pretty intense. You wouldn't wanna stare at that too long. But if we keep that principle in mind, we can use it to our advantage in a painting. Here I've taken a basic scene with a red color cast, and then I've made the shadow a bit green. This is an imaginary situation that I've painted here. It's not from reference, but I've used the complementary colors to activate the image. Another great lighting situation for this is outdoor sunlight. You've got the yellow-orange cast of the direct sun, and then the shadows become a bit blue. And the reason these shadows are blue is because all the bounce light from the blue of the sky fills in where the direct light is not hitting. And it naturally creates sort of a complementary color relationship. So anytime you've got a big area of shadow and a big area of light, it can be nice to use this principle. So here I have a sort of a basic orange flat light scene, but then if I change it a bit to add in its complement, it becomes a lot more active. And to get the most out of this effect, I'm gonna be careful about where I have the highest saturation. So you can see in this area, I have a lot of saturation and it really pulls the eye. You don't wanna do that everywhere, so I've pulled back on the color in this other area. Now traditional painters use this effect all the time and the way they accomplish it is with a red underpainting. So this image here is a work in progress. Probably the final image is going to have a blue sky. But you might wonder, well, why is it painted orange right here? That's because they're going to go over top of it with blue and then intentionally leave little bits of orange showing through. And then the principle of color contrast will enliven the sky. It'll give it a rich, vibrant color. One that couldn't be accomplished with just blue by itself. Sort of like adding salt into your chocolate chip cookies. You want it to taste sweet, but if you add a little salt, it gets even sweeter. And here you can see what it looks like with these two detail shots of finished paintings. Yes, the plants are green and the sky is blue, but you can see little bits of red peeking through here and there. Well, what that does is it makes those colors come alive. It makes them rich and vibrant. So whether or not you take the time to make a full red underpainting, it's worth using this principle in your own work. If you want to pull the attention to a certain part of your image, put in a little color contrast. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.